Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry may find in his upcoming Netflix program a way out of the reputational slump he's experienced in the U.S., it has been claimed. A recent poll suggested the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's popularity dipped significantly in America over the past few weeks following the revelations and claims they made against the royal family. Since the release of their Netflix docuseries titled Harry and Meghan, Prince Harry's book, Spare, and a string of bombshell interviews promoting its launch, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have gone under the radar, leaving commentators to question what will come next in their career as humanitarian and content producers. One project announced for entertainment giant Netflix in April 2021 and yet to be released is Heart of Invictus, described in a statement by the Sussex's organization, Archwell, as a multi-episode production set to spotlight a group of extraordinary Invictus Games competitors from around the globe on their road to the Invictus Games that took place in April 2022. The Sussexes are believed to have worked on the project while the Invictus Games was taking place at The Hague, as a film crew was spotted following them on multiple occasions. However, no release date has yet been shared by Archwell and Netflix. Jack Royston, Newsweek's chief royal correspondent, reported one PR expert seeing Heart of Invictus as a possible way forward for the Duke, completely independent from the royal family drama, that played out in public over the past months. Speaking on the Royal Report podcast, Mr. Royston said, I've been speaking to PR experts about where they think Harry and Meghan now stand. One told me, for example, that Heart of Invictus might actually be Harry's way out of the reputational slump he's experienced in America. It is obviously a very unique project. There are very few people on the planet who can say that they've done anything equivalent to what Harry's doing there. Veterans are a community in America who quite rightly do need high-profile figures standing up for them, and anyone who does that is going to get a significant reputational boost out of doing so. Focusing on the games makes total sense. The commentator continued, as Harry is a veteran himself, who has fought twice in Afghanistan and suffered himself from PTSD. He added, so that could be one way that Harry seeks to rebuild the brand. It may be he made the money out of the royally focused shows and that he can restore the brand with some more kind of worthy but perhaps less attention-grabbing content. The Invictus Games are a legacy-making project Harry launched in 2014 which draws together former and current ill, sick or injured members of the military around the world to compete on various disciplines, showcasing among other things the healing nature of sport. Mr. Royston also added this year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will likely need to choose if they are still going to speak about their life as members of the royal family and their exit from the firm, or whether they are ready to move on and just focused on new projects. If they decide to move on from sharing details about their relationship with the firm and their private lives, however, they risk generating fewer headlines and grabbing the attention of a smaller audience, the commentator added. He said, I think it's safe to say it didn't trigger the tidal wave of headlines that some of their big royal projects have created. Between early December and mid-January, Harry and Meghan leveled possibly damaging allegations and accusations at the royal family. Among the most blistering claims, they said King Charles and Camilla's office would brief against them to improve the public image of the monarch and his wife. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.